Hi guys, good morning. Today I am going to be making blueberry muffins. Last week my sister went blueberry picking with her friends and her daughter, so she brought me two pints of these beautiful fresh blueberries. Of course, I, free, I freeze it, so now it's frozen. So that way, it turned out better for me when it's frozen, uh, when I made my blueberries. Okay, let's go over our ingredients. So we have, of course, the blueberry, fresh frozen blueberries. One and a half cup flour, one egg, uh, two teaspoon of baking powder over here, and three-fourth cup of sugar, vanilla extract, vegetable oil, and uh, curdled or sour milk, sour cream which is I made it myself I don't have a sour cream it asks for milk but I like my muffins banana bread um, of course the what else breakfast type of bread or muffins I always like to uh, use either yogurt or sour cream so I don't have none of them so I made my own by uh, putting lemon on my milk it asks for one third cup of milk, so what, that's what I did. And then for my topping, which is the crumbled, I had the cinnamon over here, and one third cup of flour, butter, and one half cup of sugar. Okay, let me go ahead and start this process. And of course, my muffin, my 12, this is 12 muffin tin which I lined it with muffin cups or paper so let's start I'll sit you over here and then I will go ahead and start over there please hold so the uh, instruction said to go ahead and mix your um, egg and your milk so I'll go ahead and put that there I'm sorry and I'll give it a start before I put in my um, big, I mean, uh, my mixer. And after that, it says the vegetable oil. Okay, I'm gonna pause here because it's not showing. I can see the mixer, but I cannot see myself pouring my ingredients in the mixer. So please hold again. Okay, I think that's much better. I can see myself there. Okay, so after that, we will go ahead and uh, mix those together just to get it started. So I will go ahead and add my sugar and my baking powder into my dry mixture and my salt. So let me turn. Oh, before I do that, I'm gonna have to put flour on my blueberries. I'm just mixing my dry ingredients. And I will go ahead and uh, add flour, a little bit flour, to my blueberries so they will not stick into my batter when I put them in. Just to coat it. So with that, I'll go ahead and pour you here, pour my um, dry ingredients in my, I'll dump it 
metal. Oh, I forgot to put my Okay, just a teaspoon, I'll just put it on the edge. I'll go ahead and get the mix. Not too, not too mix and then I'll put my blueberries in. Okay, I think that's enough. Scrape it a little bit on the edge. And then I will go ahead and mix my blueberries. Okay, that's all I'm going to do and I will just hand mix it. So I will pause you here so I can do that. Okay guys, uh, here's our batter. Just gonna scrape it and one more, uh, turn it one more time there. And that's all I'm going to do with that and I will go ahead and start with putting them in our muffin cups or tin so by the way guys while I was doing all this preparation I all I went ahead and uh, preheat my oven to 400 So we'll go ahead and just fill about not too high because we need to put some crumbs on top so about that much This is how, how much I put in my muffin cups and I'll pause you here and I'll finish the rest and then I'll turn it new back on when I put my crumbled or mix my crumbled. So far I may, I had seven cups there and I don't have much left so I think my uh, recipe is a little off or maybe I put too much in, in my cups my muffin cup so I'm hoping I have enough to fill the rest we'll see if not then we'll have a big muffins maybe some big and some small we'll see this is my first time making this uh, recipe I found online usually just make like a patty cracker one from my patty cracker book but today I said okay let's change it a bit and uh, find a different recipe but basically it's all the same you know your blueberries milk and oil and cooking oil some it asks for like butter but you know I have so much on, uh, I don't like too much butter on my food. I know it's probably will taste better, but I think this is, I like this better. So let me scrape my bowl and then I'll pause you here again. Okay guys, so I filled my muffin cups and I have 
too empty. So I'm short of the good thing is just me and my husband at this time. So uh, kids at school. So here you go. And then I'm just going to crumble this to put on top. Using just a spoon. Or fork, I should say. Okay, you don't need to see me go through the hardship of crumbling that. So let me just pause you here. Okay, guys, this is my crumbled right here. So I'm just going to sprinkle it on top. And um, just using your hands, you don't need to be like extra careful with anything just put it on top and okay there you go so you can see it So I have extra crumbled, so I will just go ahead and uh, freeze the extra crumbled. And when I make more later on this week, because I have another pint of blueberries in the freezer or in the refrigerator, I will freeze those. I've been snacking on those. So I'll make some more. It depends how this one turn out. If this turn out okay, I will use this recipe again. If it doesn't turn out how ex uh, my expectation, then I will use a different recipe. Um, it's pretty basic and hopefully you guys will go ahead and enjoy your fresh blueberries this um, season and make a muffin with it or make a smoothie or eat it just snacking it fresh like that. Oh, what a wonderful snack. And um, so I think that's all I got here. and. So it won't be too sweet. I won't put too much anymore. Okay. And a little bit there. So I will go ahead and pan you over there. I'll show you the actual. And then I will put a little water on those uh, empty um, cups. So it won't burn my pan. And it's going to go to 400 degree Fahrenheit for... I believe then look at that hmm we'll just see I'll look it up and then I'll put my timer on okay guys uh, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully I don't know if I will be able to um, film the rest when coming out of the oven uh, maybe I can and I will make it a part two if I don't know how to stitch videos yet I am only using my uh, my how do you call this my phone my smartphone and i am sure there's an app to edit your video through youtube i haven't even start doing that i haven't even looked it up yet how i'm just like film myself and upload it the way it is so okay so i will try to up um you know stitch it if i can so you guys can see our um you know outcome thank you for watching please like and subscribe okay guys i just heard my oven or my timer went off so let's check it out okay looking good i'll go ahead and pause you again here okay i'm gonna uh, take it out of the oven it looks good I did this stick uh, test and it uh, came out clean so I will go ahead and sit it right here on my uh, stoneware
Okay, that looks good. So there you go, guys. Okay, so I will go ahead and it's still very hot, but I'll try my best to get uh, one out and I will open it. So I think I will pick this one right here. Okay, I cannot find my uh, offset spatula. Maybe I'll use this spoon. I think it's still too... Oh wow, did you see that guys? Plop right down. Nice. On video too. How sad. But anyway, um, I'm not going to. That's how it turned out, guys. I don't know if I should go ahead and take a bite or open it or peel it. Oh, it's hot. Very, very hot. Just came out of the oven, so... I'm braving it. Okay. It's smoking, and that's how it looked like inside. It is too hot to take a bite, so I'm going to let it cool down, and we'll go ahead and end our video here. Thank you for watching, you guys. And it only took 20 to 22 minutes or yeah about 22 minutes so i'll turn off my video here thank you again for watching this gone for 17 minutes and um, it's gonna be a long video for a blueberry muffin thank you bye hi again guys so i didn't turn off uh, my video right away i just put it on pause while i was trying my this muffin and i just want to tell you guys that this is a keeper recipe the lemon you can taste the lemon uh, you can really distinguish the lemon from the taste when uh, taking a bite the lemon I put in my um, sour cream or milk to make it a sour cream so you can really taste it and um, the topping is nice and crunchy so I don't know, I should put tapping there and I'll just... That's really good. So I will finish my coffee with my muffin and again, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Appreciate it.